Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker. Today I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to invite you into my craft room to organize and clean with me on the Great Maker Show and Tell. So confession time, I'm not really a very tidy person. I am a creative soul and that means I make messes all the time. My craft room tends to look like a whirlwind went through it after every stinking project. And sometimes I don't clean up after myself. I know, the horror. But the thing is, getting my craft room cleaned and organized, again, is so satisfying. I have space to work again, I can find everything again, and I just feel more creative when my craft space is pleasant to look at and be in. Our craft areas are our sanctuaries, our refuges, and we deserve good, relaxing spaces with excellent organization systems. Now, don't we? Now, you might be wondering, well, Jennifer, I don't really see any mess here. That craft table only has a few things on it. Well, <laughs> you're not seeing the whole picture. Let me zoom the camera out a bit so you can see my entire craft room. See, my room is actually really messy. I've just cleverly positioned the camera so you can't see most of it during my normal videos. Now, to be honest, my craft space isn't actually as messy today as it's been in the past. I mean, you can see my floor, right? When I get busy, sometimes, actually most of the time, cleaning is the last thing I do. And, you know, I'm just ready to get this room into shape. So, would you like to organize and clean with me today? Now be sure to stay tuned after the craft room is all cleaned because I have to tell you about this super cool organization summit that I've been invited to speak at. It's free, you don't have to go anywhere to watch it. You can just stay home, watch it on your phone or on your computer and you won't want to miss it because it's going to help you get organized too. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is get some light in this room because having some light can make a huge difference in your ability to see what you got to clean. So. I turn on my side lights. So it's like really hard to even get through here. All right, there we go. So this is my craft room. I know, it's such a mess. So my goal here is to get all of these things that shouldn't be like here in this area away so that we can see the craft table and it's mostly cleared off. All the counters are cleared off except for the things that are normally there. Um, so that means we're gonna start with purging. And then I'm gonna go through and uh, organize everything and put it away. And if there's not a good place for it, we're gonna find a good place and make sure our, we've got some good systems in place. So I'm gonna start with purging and that means getting rid of the trash, lots of trash here and recycling and the things that just do not belong in this room, like this laundry basket over here. I don't know why I left my laundry basket in here. All right, let's, so let's start with the trash. The first thing I do every time I go to clean a space is just get rid of the trash, anything like recycling, all the things that don't belong in the space because it makes an immediate impact. I feel better right away and I don't have that clutter just hanging around bothering me. And even just sweeping the floor where I'm starting to work can make me feel so much better and I just like... I made a difference right away and it takes like such a little bit of time and I'm not walking through all of the dust and dirt and tracking it around the room and making it worse so definitely get that trash out of there you've got recycling um, get it out just like that can that's sitting there that just needs to go right now right and then I have a, my laundry basket was in here. I don't even know. Maybe I was folding my laundry at some point and just left it here. So we're just gonna get all of those things out and start moving things. I have my two towers here. Like this is my vinyl storage tower and I clearly didn't put my vinyl away. And I move these towers around the room as I'm working and then I just sort of forget to put them back. So by getting these things back into position where we can see the room better, it makes a huge difference. So put my craft cart back over there on the side. My two towers go on the other side of the room. Definitely get rid of the cardboard boxes that are empty. I don't know why they just seem to accumulate in my room. So on the side of my tower here, I have a shoe holder attached so I can store all of my spray adhesives and spray paints. It works really well, especially when I put them back away when I'm done. 
And just like, this is the easy part, right? There are simple things that already have a place. Either the place is not in this room or the place is somewhere else in this room. That's my second step after I have uh, gotten rid of the trash. It's just to get these obvious things out of the way and put away so that we have space to work. If you haven't heard me talk about my towers before, these are just simple Ikea Calyx towers that I have enhanced to store paper and store vinyl. I have tutorials for both of these on my blog over at jennifermaker.com. So now that we've made some space to work, we can see that the biggest issues here are really the clutter on the central craft table as well as on the two side counters. So focusing on the center table, I see we've got vitamins that don't belong here. Also, I have these pegboard remnants from when I made my vinyl storage tower. You see I put pegboards on the side and these are the parts that were cut off. Now a part of me wants to hold on to these because hey, maybe I could use them for something. But honestly, I'm not going to use them for anything. And this is the kind of thing that we need to purge. If it turns out I need pegboards, I know where to find them. Now a lot of stuff on the table is things I can put away right away, like um, there's a bag of trash that's gone. This tape goes into my tape drawer, that's nice and easy. Then there's some mystery items like this red thing, I have no idea what this is. I don't recognize it, I don't think I need it, so I'm going to get rid of this, along with all the other trash that's, that's found its way to my room. I also have a lot of loose paper because I'm a paper crafter and I love to make things. And I have this awesome storage tower here so I can put the paper away right away. Uh, I like to put my paper pads down at the bottom here. Um, I have other places for paper pads as well. It just depends on the type. And then I have a lot of these Cricut uh, various like poster boards and craft boards and stuff and there's a lot of those and they don't really fit in my storage tower but I have these drawers down here however the drawers are super disorganized there's just lots of stuff crammed in here so this needs some organization I think the drawers not even closing properly right now so I am gonna go through this drawer and we're gonna figure out what's going on and there is a piece of loose craft paper stuck in the back of my drawer. And this is a good reason not to let things just be loose and floating around because this can happen and then it's really tough to get it out. But I did get it out. And there's a lot of loose pieces of paper in here along with scraps. All of these need to be recycled. I don't need to keep them. I can get new paper. I'm not a big fan of holding on to scraps. Getting stuck in the drawer is just one reason, but otherwise I just don't use them. I think I'm gonna use them, but I'm not gonna use them and I need to recycle them. And we're gonna sort things by type. So I'm gonna just get everything out and figure out, like put the craft and poster board together and also and put things like labels and other you know, smaller, smaller eight and a half by 11 sized specialty paper. So we've got labels and water slide paper and transparencies and I'll put all of those together because really one of the big things about organizing is just putting like things together and then you know where to go when you're looking for that craft paper or when you are looking for your transparencies, right? They're together in the same place and it's such a huge difference. Now all these scraps that I pulled out of the drawer I am going to recycle these. I'm not, I'm going to resist the temptation to hold on to them. I know where to get more paper when I need it. And I'm gonna put my scraps into my recycle bin that I have stored under my craft table. I actually have a recycle bin on one side and a trash can on the other. And I love having these nice big receptacles for stuff and they're tucked out of the way so they're not like an eyesore. All right, so let's get the rest of this craft table cleaned off. By the way, if you're not familiar with my craft table, I also built this myself using various components from Ikea, and I have a whole tutorial on that. It has got tons of storage. And like getting this central table cleared off, probably the most satisfying thing that I can do in this room, because now I have room to work. Even if I like were to stop right here, I've got room to do projects now. I'm not gonna stop though. Now, if you're anything like me, you've got uh, boxes or bags containing craft supplies that you haven't yet put away. 
Sometimes you got them because I thought they would be cool. Sometimes you need them for a future project. Put these away so that you can find them because when we forget to do this, first of all, they pile up. And second of all, we can't locate them. We think we don't have them and we end up getting them again. Yeah, does this sound familiar? So when these come in, it's fine to have like a central holding spot for them. But then, you know, as soon as you've got time, get them out of the boxes, get them out of the bags and get them put away into your room so that you know where to find them and can use them. Okay, it's time to clean the counters. A lot of the stuff on here just is for this area already. Here I've got a little bucket full of my Sharpies. I like to put them in these buckets because then I can move them around the room. And then when I'm done, I can just hang them back up on this peg on my pegboard. And I have buckets for lots of different things like my Cricut pens and my chalk and pencils and everything like that. And of course, yet we have yet more like tools and supplies that need to be put away. Sometimes there's not always a good place and I have to find one. And here's a bag of stuff from the craft store that I haven't put away yet. Gotta get these things put away. Otherwise we end up with piles of bags and boxes and we don't know what's in them. And then just a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff here that just needs to get put back up on the pegboard and generally put away. And I'm a big fan of putting things into jars so that I can see my various craft supplies and also it, I just like all the color in my room. So if you also like to see your stuff, see-through jars are awesome. I also love to give everything a nice thorough wipe down because with dogs and dust and craft glitter in the air, everything just gets kind of like dingy after a while and it's nice to have nice clean surfaces. I also decided to repurpose an area of my room. This is my old light box that I would do projects in so that I could see everything really well. I now have a new area with that's really well lit. So it's time to make this area into something that's usable again. So I'm getting rid of all the trash and all the extra stuff I don't need. All of my cutting boards and, and backgrounds and all of my tools and supplies. I'm going to put these tools over by my Cricut and I'm going to put all of my mats and everything into this compartment I created underneath this desk area that's nice and big and perfectly sized for nice big flat things like this so that they don't get bent or whatever because this used to be a real struggle finding a place to put these, these big poster boards and mats and everything. And uh, I just created this with, by using two tabletops with spacers in between, and that's it. Now wipe this down, make sure everything is nice and clean. And then I'm gonna take down these sides because I've got these two fold-out sides to create the super brightly lit area that I use to work in, which I don't need right now. And it looks so much nicer when I have a nice, long, clean counter. And then Greg can also sit here when he's helping me do my live stream videos. And this makes a lot more sense right now with the way I'm using my craft room. I think it's always important to be flexible as we change and grow and use our spaces differently. Now, these cords over here on the side are a problem. Before they were hidden by the door and I didn't really notice them, but this is totally gonna bug me. This. And yet it's important that they be here. All of these cords go to my camera and my lights when I make my videos. So I can turn everything on and off at one location. It makes it very simple. But it's definitely an eyesore right now. So I'm going to gather up the cords, a lot of loose cords, and I'm gonna use this basket that I have right here to tuck the cords into. Now I don't wanna cover the cords up because they need ventilation and circulation. We don't wanna create a fire hazard, but by putting them and kind of disguising them in something cute, I probably won't notice it as much and it can still be there, but not, you know, something that looks ugly. Cause I love it when my craft room is pleasant to look at. It just really makes me feel more inspired and motivated to make beautiful things when I'm in a beautiful space. So there we go. Now we have a nice cleaned off work area that's perfect for sitting and, and working at a laptop at. Wonderful. So now the craft table is cleared off. The counters have only the things on them that I want there to be. So lots of room for projects. The last thing I do is sweep the floor. While I do this once at the beginning, I also do it again at the very, very end because things just fall on the floor as we're cleaning. And this is the perfect last step to cleaning and organizing your craft room. So this is what my craft room looked like when we first started cleaning. 
And this is what it looks like now. Pretty big change, huh? Ah, feels so good. Taking a walk around my craft room, I see I've got my machines back in place and dust covers put back on. Everything's put back up on my pegboard and cleaned off my surfaces. But there's my explorer, put that back into place. All my pens and brushes and everything are put back into their little buckets. And yeah, and here's my um, cake stands. I use these when I'm doing videos so that I can show things off. Everything looks pretty good, I would say. Everything's back where it belongs. Uh, we're on the other side of the room. I've got that counter cleaned off as well. This counter looks good. I've got my embellishments back where they belong in their little jars and containers. And I've created a new area for working, which is awesome. I love it when I can take something and repurpose it and make it even better. So now we've got a nice clean area to sit at and work at. And this is all looking nice and neat and organized. I love this little area with a little light and the butterflies. It's so pleasant. Over here, my craft card is back into position and there's my wrapping paper organized in a PVC tube. And generally things are looking really good again. Nice and neat and clean and colorful. And I really feel inspired when I'm in this space. I feel inspired to create and to innovate and to share what I do. And it's just such a joy to be in here. And that's what I think our spaces should always be. So this is a special place for us to create and make. And whatever we can do to make it work for us is what we should do. For me, that means lots of color and lots of light. And I think that it definitely looks like that. So there we go, a clean and organized craft room, ready to be messed up again for the next project. But that's okay, because organization makes it so much easier to tie it up when you're done. And now that I have several new organization systems in place, so it's going to help so much more in the future as well. Just getting rid of things that don't belong here, like the laundry basket and the old boxes, putting things back into position, like my paper and vinyl towers and my craft cart, and having a place for everything is such a huge help. And the great thing is that having our craft spaces cleaned and organized means we are going to save so much time finding stuff and making stuff. Without a lot of clutter on our surfaces, it's just so much easier to use this space and it feels really good too. And now it's time to sit back and just appreciate this happy place for a few minutes before I jump into my next project. I hope that you've enjoyed hanging out with me in my craft room and organizing and cleaning with me. Now, I also want to remind you about the Get Organized HQ Summit with 40 organization experts to help you get organized, including myself. I don't know if I'm really an expert, but I know how to organize. I have been so excited to see so many of you sign up for it already. I know you're gonna love it. Maybe you've been stressing about your clutter or you're just trying to figure out some good organization systems or you just want to see new ways to organize things. This is a great free opportunity and it's coming up really soon. So you definitely want to sign up now. I'm gonna put the sign up link in the description box for this video, or you can just go to jennifermaker.com slash get organized HQ. And that's it for today. Remember, if you can tell me what you want to make or organize, I can show you how to do it. Until next time.